authorities predict near or complete gridlock on South Bay freeways and expressways within seven to 10 years. The experts say traffic will continue to increase, leading to, quote, all day, 5 a.m. to 7 p.m. rush hour traffic jams. Oh, at times it seems like it's already here. In other news, people are moving to the South Bay. It's bad, and it's getting worse. For years now, residents of Santa Clara County have called traffic their number one problem. Fortunately, a dramatic step has been taken to provide a comfortable alternative to our crowded highways. Years ago, voters in Santa Clara County took decisive action in their fight against increasing traffic problems. The County of Santa Clara, the County Transit District, Caltrans, and the cities of San Jose and Santa Clara combined resources with the federal government to fund the building of the Guadalupe Corridor Project, a light rail and highway system. The 20-mile system stretches from IBM and the residential neighborhoods of South San Jose to downtown San Jose and on to the industry-rich North San Jose and Santa Clara. The route has stations at the convention centers of both San Jose and Santa Clara and will meet the commuter Caltrain at Alma Street to provide service up the peninsula to San Francisco. October 1986. The first spike is driven on North 1st Street in San Jose. Construction is underway after years of careful planning. The work is designed to minimize its impact on businesses and drivers. And the North segment is completed on time for the start of service in December 1987. June 1988, the mood is jubilant as passenger service is extended from Great America and North San Jose to the downtown San Jose Transit Mall. Initial projections of two to 3,000 riders per day underestimated response to light rail transit. Instead, close to 6,000 people get on board, more than twice the daily projections. If you're a business person downtown and you want a variety of places to go to luncheon, you simply get on this train or trolley and it's uh, marvelous. Within a few minutes, you're there. And in fact, this is our stop. Riding a trolley to work or to lunch is nothing new here. During the Roaring Twenties, classic streetcars ran in the streets of Santa Clara County. Two of those original trolleys are now in operation in the downtown San Jose Transit Mall, renovated by volunteers of the San Jose Trolley Corporation. They are now refurbishing four more vintage trolleys from around the world, which will also run on the 14-block Transit Mall. These offer a nostalgic comparison to today's ultra-modern light rail vehicle, where passengers ride in air-conditioned comfort and contoured seats. Single vehicles can carry up to 167 people each, and the 49-ton trolleys can be coupled into two or three car trains for added capacity. The quiet vehicles cruise at speeds up to 35 miles an hour in unobstructed portions of the north segment, slowing down to safe speeds in areas with traffic and pedestrians and back up to 55 miles an hour throughout the south segment, where the light rail will run in the middle of the 85 and 87 freeways. Here, the trains will travel over or under city streets. With the system off and running on the northern segment, officials study concerns that threaten the tight south line construction schedule. Work on the segment, originally scheduled to provide service to South San Jose commuters in late 1988, comes to a halt. After a two-year review, work resumes. The interchange for highways 85 and 87 will be lower than originally planned. More sound walls will be installed, and the entire project is given the green light. Construction managers continue working with neighborhoods to answer questions and solve problems. Students and parents, 
Bicyclists and pedestrians are reminded of the dangers around construction sites and heavy machinery. Fences are built and safe walkways and bikeways are installed to get children to and from school safely. I use it to get to work because it's convenient for me to just drive to the train. It's about a mile from my house. Just drive over there and ride it in the morning. It gives me some extra time to just relax before work. Riding the system is easy. The adult one-way fare is 75 cents, with reduced fares available for senior citizens, students, and the disabled. After selecting a fare category, the rider inserts the fare into one of the ticket machines located at every station. The machines take dollar bills as well as coins and give the rider a ticket and change within seconds. The ticket must be in the rider's possession on board the train. Convenience is a key part of the system. Special lifts controlled by the train operator are available for the disabled. Riders can now board the light rail system at 20 points between downtown San Jose and the Great America Old Ironside stops. The southern segment will add 13 more stops to the system, linking the neighborhoods of Willow Glen, Almaden, Blossom Valley, and Santa Teresa to the rest of the system. In October 1990, riders will be able to take the light rail to the Alma Street Station, where in 1991, they can catch Caltrain, the commuter train service up the peninsula to San Francisco. The light rail system will offer free parking for over 6,000 cars in 10 park and ride lots, and is within walking distance of a quarter million residents, offering a convenient, inexpensive alternative to driving. When construction on the light rail south line is completed in 1991, residents of Santa Clara Valley will have a modern mode of transportation. Residents with questions are invited to contact the Guadalupe Corridor Public Information Office located near Oak Ridge Mall in San Jose. The number is LRT 1991 or 578-1991.